evolution of sound. What is up? What is what is up, you guys? What is up, you guys? My name is Sandworld, and welcome to the complete guide to Master Silent One. This is going to be episode three, and today we're going to be talking about the amp envelope. Next video, we're going to be talking about the mod envelope. And this video is going to be a little bit long, so hopefully you guys are ready for it for some good explanation. Now, Amp Envelope A is going to be routed to the amp, which means the master where everything's coming out of, the volume. Okay, and attack, decay, sustain, and release are going to be the four phases. Now, ADSR is not loopable. That's the first thing I want you guys to understand. ADSR is four phases. First is the attack, decay, sustain, then the release. If the sustain is put at 100% at max value, there is no decay at all, so don't even worry about the decay value on that case. Um, and pretty much, you know, that's going to be it. Now, let's get started. So, attack is going to be pretty much how fast, you know, the volume is going to come out to max value, so how loud it's going to be. And pretty much, you get to decide this. The higher the attack, the longer it takes. The lower the attack, the faster it takes. So, think of it as sort of like a time increment. The higher it goes, the longer you're wasting time. So... Attack all the way at the bottom, sound comes out instantaneously, straight out, punchy, because there is no attack. However, if you add attack, it takes a while to get there. And now, remember how I told you if sustain is put at 100%, decay doesn't matter. Well, check this out. Is that changing the sound in any way? No, it's not. Now, let's do this. Is that changing the sound? Oh, yeah, it is. So, with sustain up all the way, decay kind of doesn't matter, okay? Now, what is decay saying? Well, attack goes to the max value. From the max value, you go down to your sustain value. Your sustain value, let's say if it's put halfway, it'll go halfway down in volume. And that's what it will remain as long as you have the note held down. Now, decay is going to decide how long it takes for us to go from, let's say, the max value, the max volume, down to that sustain volume. Now, let me show you guys that what sustain is. So I'm going to hold down the note. I have the note held down. So sustain is gonna pretty much you can see as long as I have that note held down, it's gonna control the volume of it. So attack the case sustain are all gonna happen while you're holding down the note. Now, pretty much sustain is just what I explained. Now let's have the decay. Let's explain a bit better. So let me see the K high. Attack, decay is kicking in right now, and it's slowly going down to the sustain level. Still going. Still going. And I think we're around the sustain level right now. Let go. There you go, instantaneous. Now, the last one is going to be the release. The release activates when you let go of your key, when you let go you know, of your note. And it pretty much is going to say how long it takes for the sound to go from the sustain level back to a value of zero. So pretty much I'm going to put the sustain all the way up and give it um, no release. Holding note down, letting go of the note. It goes instantaneously down to zero because there's no release. Now, uh, the release you can kind of say is like the opposite of the attack. The attack decides how fast it comes up to max value. The release decides how fast it goes down to the zero value. Literally, pretty much a high release. You can see. It sticks around. It sticks around. Look. Pressing note, pressing note off. Literally that simple. And the release is really good for making mystical type sounds. I mean, literally. guys can see there now the last thing is pretty much this is how it's gonna work let's add some random values in and you know let's go here and then the release all right so as the sound progresses I'll be saying what phases it's in so attack attack decay 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 sustain phase right now sustain and I'm gonna let go release phase there it's it now I want you guys to practice okay so pretty much if you were to make a pluck a pluck goes like pop Pop. That means attack is instantaneous. The sustain is at zero because it's pop. As I'm holding down the note, pop. Um, so pretty much no sustain at all, no release, and all you're gonna have is decay. Pop. I'm holding down the note still. Pop. Pop. Still holding down that note, letting go. Holding down the note, I'm still holding it, letting go. So you can see, no sustain, no volume. The volume is set to zero, and that's how you make plucks. You can even use decay with release. Because the release activates the moment you let go of the key, remember that. So as long as the decay is still going down and you let go, the release will kick in and catch in midway. You can see the release still sticks around. 
Anyways, guys, that's going to be the tutorial for this one. In the next video, we're going to explain envelopes a little bit more in depth, applying it to the cutoff. Hopefully, you guys understood this. And in the next one, I'll give you guys a visual representation. But as of now, practice, you know, get it down. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a good one. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.